Hey friends, when you are building a Streamlit application, if you have to collect code as an input, wouldn't it be nice if you actually can show a code editor to your user where they can type the code instead of a normal text input. So usually you might have a blank box, they might be typing something, they don't have syntax highlighting, uh, you cannot validate what they're typing it. But what if you can actually show a code editor just like what you're seeing on the screen to your user and then the user could actually type the code and then you collect it and then do something with it. Yes, that's exactly possible with Streamlit Ace, which is a component for Streamlit. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Streamlit Ace, how to use Streamlit Ace to collect code as an input and how to show an output with that. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I usually say, if you like this open source project, please go ahead and start this repository. This could mean a lot to the developer. So how do we install it? It's quite simple, pip install Streamlit Ace, and then we have got a class there. So let's start with a new file. Uh, let me save it as app.py and I would say import streamlet and uh, import, okay, I should install if I do not have already. So, but I have it already. So I would, yeah, all the requirement is satisfied. You need to just do streamlet from streamlet, streamlet ace import st is you could see that vs code is already suggesting you collect the code as an input st dot code sorry st underscore is and we have got the thing that we need to see is you have got a lot of lot of arguments that you can pass we'll see one by one what is it but right now we'll just plain start with that so and we can say st dot write code whatever we get as input let's write and before we write we can say um Okay, maybe, maybe in this case, let's say I want to do it as two columns. I can say st dot um, beta columns. First comma second. Okay. And I can say with first code and with second, I can say um, st dot write code. Let's hope it works. Fingers crossed, streamlet app.py. Okay, sorry, streamlet run app.py. Let's see if it runs. Copy the URL, go to the browser, paste it. Okay, it says ST is not defined. That's a shame because I didn't define it. Okay, let's go back, run it, rerun it. Okay, beta columns one. Position is missing because I didn't define how many columns I want. Once again, okay, so you've got the code editor. Let's type something import pys. So you could see as I type, it's appearing. Import TensorFlow as tf, import um, PyTorch, import uh, let's say numpy. So you could see everything just coming one by one. But you like if you notice it is not exactly the way you want right so import pandas you could see like and again you cannot see the syntax highlighting for python uh, maybe you have you want a python code or sometimes you know you want to do something in html uh, but what to do in that case so that's where the arguments that we just looked at would come into picture and what are those arguments before we see what are those arguments Let's quickly go ahead and see the source code of this demo application, which will actually tell us a lot of information. So first of all, these are the languages that are supported. You can actually see a way, lot of languages. For example, do you want Python? You see Python over there. Do you want R? You see R over there. Do you want uh, JavaScript? You see JavaScript over there. Do you want HTML? Uh, where is HTML? HTML? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have got HTML over there. So these are the languages or syntaxes that are supported by this code editor. So you can actually have any language that you want. So let's quickly go ahead and then say language is equal to Python. Okay, and save it, go back to our application, rerun our application. And then right now, let's write Python TensorFlow as TF. And I can say import re. So, and you can actually see the syntaxes that get, you know, like um, the suggestions that you get import pandas as PD. And you can, you can see like how the syntax highlighting has changed. Um, just, just ignore the output for a moment. Like I'll, uh, I'll show you how to fix that output. 
um, but input is sorted. So let's quickly try another language before we shift to something else, like another, another language that I like a lot, just R, so let me rerun it, and then say library tidyverse, and if I want to write for loop for i in i dot 10, print one i. So you can see uh, the text editor works just fine. Um, but what if you want to change it aesthetically? And again, go back to the example and you can see these are the themes that you have got. Like you can change your themes, you can change your key bindings, you can change heck lot of things like font size, tab size. Uh, if you want to give a sidebar where user can, um, you know, select all these things, you can do it. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you a couple of theme changes. Then we are going to jump into the final section, which is to show how to show the code output. So in this case, uh, let's say I've got a Python and I want to select the theme, which is Cobalt. So go back, run the application. I think probably I should, um, I should do this. This is, this is slightly better, right? Okay. Um, is it visible even? Let me reduce the size. Yeah. I don't need the files. Yeah. I think this is decent. Okay. Um, let's rerun it. Sorry. Let's rerun it. Python and you can see the code editor has changed. Import pandas as PD. So you can see the theme has changed. Uh, I can I can still change it. I can say uh, solarized dark. I think that's the thing. Let me quickly check solarized dark underscore. I missed. Um, yep. Go back. Read. Okay, I just selected always read and you can see import pandas as PD. So you can see how how it has changed. Like maybe one final theme. Um, if you are familiar with. Um, let's say Xcode and then you go here and say Xcode, save it, come back. You can see it has changed import pandas as PD. So you can see that, you know, the theme changes. It's quite, quite good. And uh, you can also see uh, how it's helpful. So let's put a title. First of all, there is no title code. Okay. What am I doing? ST dot title code editor on streamlit save it it should rerun so it's rerunning you can see that there is a title now um and you can see uh, so what do we want to do next uh, like our output doesn't look good right so the output looks um looks slightly crap so what do we do there are two ways we can show a decent code output one is using markdown the second one is actually using the code editor only in read only mode. So let's go ahead and then first see what can I do with markdown. I can say uh, markdown, sorry, mark down and then say code inside it, save it. And then let's see what happens. Go back here and import find us as pd uh, let's write a small i in range of 1 to 10 yeah uh, let me give some time print of i i You can see uh, it has still not changed. The reason is because when we are doing markdown, uh, we need to have the code syntax. And what is that? Um, it means, okay, um, use double quotation, trip three curly code, plus, plus three curly code, and save it. Ideally, um, it should have uh, the syntax that we wanted. In fact, uh, you can actually add the language that we want. Like right now, you can see that there is no syntax highlighting. You, like if you're familiar with Markdown, you know that you can just add Python there 
Um, then you can ideally it should it should change so let's check yeah you can see that there is a there is a syntax highlighting now you can see everything has been highlighted so this is this is a good way um but what if i don't want to do markdown i want to do the same code editor and that's possible too um what i can do is i can do st dot write uh, i'm sorry st dot or I can I'm, I'm sorry like what am I doing I should do st dot ace code which is my default uh, and uh, I should say what am I even doing I think I'm probably I'm sleepy st underscore ace and if you see the parameters so the first one is your value by default what you have got and you also see another art, uh, argument where uh, you could make it only read only so you can actually make this read only and usually by default read only set fault so what i can do is i can say value is equal to code like whatever we are getting as an, an input i want to display the same and then say read only is equal to true save it and then let's see the output it is rerunning tada you've got it so whatever you have it in input it has got the same output so now you can you can just to show the difference you can say like uh, um, the language that i want language i want is python because you know that you are getting python input from the user what am i doing and um, you want to show a different theme uh, theme is equal to let's say uh, what, what, is there any good theme pastel on dark okay i missed a comma save it okay that's an invalid syntax yeah i know i just missed a comma let's run it Okay, probably it's not showing anything because my theme name okay it shows i mean like i was not patient enough so you can see that uh, we have got all these themes and you can select any theme now you know that there is an input and there is an output like if you want a different title you can even further you know like because we have got two columns um so i can just say like uh, sd data markdown and uh, I can say title is uh, input and I can copy paste it and say this is output that is should work let's see so now you have got a code editor on both the side but one side is your input the other side is your output it has got very similar features like you can uh, you can uh, you can just copy it uh you you just cannot edit it you've got line number you've got a very code editorish um output but at the same time you know you cannot somebody cannot edit it but on the other hand on your left hand side you've got actual input like you can you can change it you can do anything you want print um uh, subscribe to um le let me let me do an advertisement to my channel one little quarter subscribe to one little quarter so you can do anything you want uh, and then you know the, like uh, the output you can process it you you if you want to show just directly like that you can you can still do it so basically the objective of this video is to introduce you to streamlit ace and what you can do with streamlit ace and how to show the code as an output uh, different features of streamlit ace so the output that we saw on using markdown on using code and you know as a little bit of hack to use code editor as um, as it is but with the read only option so I hope this video was helpful to you, especially if you're building something for um, code input rather than getting it on text, uh, text area, text input. This should be really, really much better for your user experience. And, uh, and it looks really awesome. Um, and thanks to the developer. If you like uh, this package, please 
go and then start their repository give them a shout out it would mean a lot to them and if you like this video please let me know in the comment section i'll be really happy and share this video with your friends and subscribe if you have not thank you so much see you take care